Uh, welcome to how to bait a hoochie in a hot spot. So we're going to identify a few parts of this system and then you can uh, follow along here. This is just a standard hot spot. That's a brand of flash or narrow end goes towards the pole. The wide end here goes towards the hoochie. I have about a 60 pound liter on here. This is because it doesn't break that easily. It's heavy. And I got about 18 inches between the hoochie, the hoochie, and the swivel on the hot spot. Now, there's lots of ways to do this, but I'm giving you my way. I've got two hoochies on here. This style here with the one underneath. I have a swivel under here, and then I have a crimped on. 6 aught hook with a small piece of copper wire. This allows the hook to swivel and therefore you don't spin up your leader. Same, there should be a swivel on this end and then I have a clip here so I can quickly change the different colors poochies if I want or change it out. So the biggest thing you want to do here is you want to have a little bit of scent on your hoochie. If you don't have scent on your hoochie, uh, you'll have a less like, likely chance of catching fish. So what I do is I take a standard herring, which you can see here, this is a bigger herring, and I basically fillet the herring. I cut the head off, just like that, no head, throw the head over the side, just like I would a piece of salmon or filet fish, I cut a chunk of the fish off, just get a whole filleted side of the fish. Then I'll cut a strip off of that. Long, narrow strip. And that has a lot of oil, and it has a little bit of scale on it. Now I'll take that strip, and I'll lay it right on the shank of my hook and I'll lash it on there with that piece of copper and that skin is real tough and it won't come off. Then I'll nest my hoochie back over the top, my double hoochie. And there you have it. Now that adds scent and will increase the uh, success of that hoochie. Now, one thing people don't realize about hot spots is that as they turn in the water, they make the hoochie dart. So the speed in which the hoochie darts through the water is dependent on how fast you travel and how short this leader is. So the shorter the leader, the faster you speed, the more this thing moves. The slower you go and the longer the leader, the less, less motion you have on this hoochie. So, there you have it for how to bait a hoochie.